hello welcome and make sure you're subscribing right down below now this video has been sitting on my computer for a couple months then on my ipad for a couple months but now i'm finally doing the voiceover for it but if you guys remember a couple months ago or a few videos ago quite a few videos ago i did these cow print tray and i wasn't satisfied with it the resin messed it up i hand painted it if you look at the video, you remember. It was a fail. So I did was like, I was gonna, I'm gonna recreate it, get some new trays, get some new designs, and then make a whole video on animal print. But I'm gonna use vinyl this time. So here I am on my iPad, of course, getting my vinyl on, because I need this, the quality graphics for it. So I chose three. And the three that I chose, of course, was the cow print zebra leopard so um here i am using my app called procreate if you guys do not have an ipad or if you do have an ipad i don't know i love procreate my apple pencil is the only thing i use so here i am getting my sketches together making sure it looks similar from the layout i had before and then of course getting new prints like the zebra and then the leopard i've had so i just reused that from whatever previous piece that I had it from. Um, so that's what I'm currently creating now. And here I am looking for it. And I use, of course, Cricut Design Space, uploading it. I have a whole bunch of designs here. And here's my old design for the leopard one. So that one was pretty easy. I didn't have to sketch that one up or anything in Procreate because I've already done it before. Um, and then so I have my zebra that I'm putting in. I don't know how that's gonna turn out because it has a lot of black on it. I'm using, of course, permanent adhesive vinyl for this little project. And I'm using my accidental cow print design for my previous project from two previous projects. A failed one, another failed one, and now hopefully this is not a fail. All right, so I'm gonna put in my Cricut machine. I'm gonna wanna put on three different mats, so I did three different colors. I don't want them really to be on the same layer. And I'm connecting my Cricut machine luckily the odds are my favorite today and my Cricut design space is actually working so let's skip the cutting process and we're right here where we need to be pretty simple on this one I just pulled it out look how cute that would have ended up I'm so sad and here's my new dish it's all white titanium dioxide I use guys check out my other video for that here I am putting my little sticky sheet to pull the vinyl versus me having to pluck it, pick it um, out. So here I am trying to just pull as much as I can and then work my way on picking out what I don't want on it. This is such an easier process, um, but this is easy compared to what I have to go through to put these on the tray itself. And boop, voila. It was that simple. And of course I'm gonna do the same thing for the zebra. That should have been an easy pull. But then again, I'm not really used to this design. It's very new to me. But there it is, that was simple. And then here I'm applying it to the tray as closely to resemble the previous one as possible. Now this part is a little tedious, a little difficult. It's gonna be hard to get those clean, clean lines to adhere to the tray. So you're gonna have to be patient with this vinyl. Cause I was just like, this is probably the hardest part of this whole entire process. But there it is. You had to just make sure you push through and get your little black and just try to flatten as much as possible. As you can see, I didn't do that well I'm flattening it. I had to make corners wasn't as a mess. And as you can see, that resembled as close as possible. I had to cut this in pieces. I knew it was gonna be a fail. I was like, I have to put this piece by piece because there's no way I can just put it on there and I'm gonna be able to get a successful adhere rinse to the tray. So here I am putting it one by one, putting it in the corners, making sure it looks very leopard printy. And adhesive, adhesive vinyl works just so well. 
putting it on a tray so that's something that can work um, if you do have a sealant other than resin to cover it that works just fine but what I used was resin to cover them but it's really all up to you and this one as easy as it looked as it should have been it wasn't I mean I should have maybe done this piece by piece but I didn't know how well I was going to get these together it it was a mess this is the toughest one as simple as this design is it is I just was like, I'm not going to the corners. I'm not risking it. It was a risk putting, cutting those corners with those zebras. Like, let me just get the top part done. Call it a day. This one was probably the toughest, most challenging one. And it's not even all that cute to be that challenging. And I had to make up for the parts that got cut off because apparently I did it too small. Maybe I should have just done the zebra stripes thinner. I mean, it's all right, I guess. <laughs> but here are all, all three of them. Hope you enjoyed this video of putting adhesive, permanent adhesive vinyl onto your trays because it's totally possible. And look out for more videos just like this one. Sorry it took so long.